嗨，各位同学好，欢迎来到 f o l i p h o n i x 自然音标。f o l i p h o n i x 自然音标的课程。今天老师为您介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day。Vocabulary of the Day。同样的，让我们到 Wikipedia.org 围棋线上百科全书去寻找 Found today's video article 本日焦点文章。并且从中去了解一些单字的拼技巧以及逻辑。Okay, students, let's go to the Wikipedia.org and search for today's video article, and we can probably learn some vocabulary, spelling, and pronunciation rules. Let's check out on today's video article. The strong affair. Of the 1970s was a British political and sex scandal that ended the career of Jeremy Strobe, the leader of the Liberal Party and member of the Parliament for North Devon. The scandal arose from an allegation by Norman Scarb of a homosexual affair. At a time when such relationships were illegal in the United Kingdom, Strub denied any such liaison and largely managed to avoid public and press scrutiny. Oscar's allegations were a persistent threat for years, endangering the Liberal Party's. Mid 1970s revival, unsuccessful attempt to buy Scott's silence and frighten him, culminated in 1975 with the shooting of his dog by a high gunman. The police investigation and publicity forced Strauss' resignation. He and three others were charged with conspiracy to murder Scar, but the main prosecu- prosecution witnesses were undermined by, among other factors, their financial arrangements with newspapers. All four defenders were acquitted, although there were later. Claims that impo- important prosecution evidence had been suppressed by the police. Strauss' reputation was damaged irreparably by evidence that was uncontested, and he did not return to public life. Okay, students, all.、Uh, If you want a way, you can find this story, and、uh, how this story was. And、uh, if you are interested, I'm going to show you how, and you can find this story. First things, ah,、uh, okay. The first things from the top right hand side. Okay, I'm going to show you from the top right hand side. You can see the search menu from Wikipedia. All you have to do just find the article title from today, and you type the article title into the search menu, and you can find this great article. And the article title for today it is "Throb Affair." Throb Affair. Throb affair, and I'm going to give you a preview. First thing you will see the image, the newspaper image,、uh, which indicates throb affair, and、uh, you can see the background, the homosexuality, and the UK law, and the homosexual was not allowed. During that time, and、uh, if you are interested in the story, you can keep on, keep on reading. And 
lot of info, a lot of information. Okay, now let's jump out to the vocabulary note uh, that I have prepared for you guys to study. And we have two vocabulary words for today, as usual. And now we are going to discuss the vocabulary, meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition. We are using spelling, B's pronunciation, and spelling. Improvement and skill. And check out the first vocabulary word. Affair. 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 Num. An event or sequence of events of a specified kind or that has previously been referred to. The board... Admitted responsibility for the affair. I wanted the funeral to be a family affair. More example sentences. The revolution in military affairs refers to this new form of information based warfare. Origin Middle English from all French affair. From Affair to do compare with a do. And second vocabulary word illegal. 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 Adjective. Contrary to or forbidden by law, especially criminal law. Illegal drugs. More example sentences. The report also raises concerns of the efforts to tackle illegal drug use in prison. Origin. Early 17th century from French, illegal, or medieval Latin, illegalist. From Latin, in not legalist, according to law. Okay, student, now it's a time. I'm going to repeat the pronunciation and definition part again. And this time, I would like you to read along with me. Okay, let's read it together. Affair. 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 Num. An event or sequence. Of events of a specified kind or that has previously been referred to. The board admitted responsibility for the affair. I wanted the funeral to be a family affair. More examples than this. The revolution in military affairs refers to this New form of information-based warfare. Origin. Middle English from all French affair. From affair to do. Compare with a do. And the second vocabulary word is illegal. 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 Adjective. Contrary to or forbidden by law, especially criminal law. Illegal drugs. More example sentences. The report also raises concerns over the efforts to tackle illegal drug use in prison. Origin. Early 17th century from French illegal or medieval, medieval Medieval Latin illegalist. From Latin in not legalist, according to the law. Okay, students, now is the time. We're going to redefine these two vocabulary words. Use forty four X advanced pronunciation and spelling scale and rules. And check out the first vocabulary word that is affair. 好了，同学们，先让我们来看一看 
啊，我们如何用自然音标啊来去解释啊这些这个啊 affair 的这个拼音技巧以及逻辑。所以我们先看这个 affair 它的根源哈、啊、，origin 它是中世纪的英文哈、啊、，Middle English 哈、啊，来自法文的 affair。啊，所以我们可以看到，在法文这个 affair 的时候啊，跟我们的英文的拼法哈，啊，看看哈 ，f a i r 这一段是一样的哈 ，a 也是一样哈，啊，可是我们这边英文多个 f， 他们多个一、e、结尾哈，所以稍微看起来它的拼音技巧逻辑哈 ，affair 啊，我们可以看它重音在第二个音节哈，因为当然 fair， 当然我们就知道。啊，它本身就一个 fair， 就是一个单字了哈。所以，我们看它的 man stress 主重音哈，主重音在第二个音节，所以我们第二个音节把它打个圈圈圈起来，它就是我们的 strong syllable， strong syllable 强音节哈，强音节在第二个音节，所以我们的弱音节 weak syllable， weak syllable 弱音节哈，弱音节就在第一个音节。所以第二第一个音节找到我们的看到的哈，从左向右看到的第一个母音或元音哈，我们不要在下方放个弱母弱母音弱元音的这个符号。先提醒一下哈 ，a e i o u 啊，在弱母音 weak vowels 的时候，通常发音是二二一二二啊。所以既然这样子，我们直接在 a 的下方哈。啊，写上弱母音，标示为 a，、uh, 那 f 照抄啊 ，f f f。好，那在第二个音节哈，因为它是强音节，在强音节的时候哈，我们就要看它的母音与元音啊，母音与子音的排列，或者我们讲说元音与辅音的排列啊，也就是 vowel and the consonant， vowel and the consonant pattern。Pattern, 哈，排列或者 vowel and consonant formation 组合，哈，好，好，所以我们仔细看 vowel and consonant pattern 或我们 vowel and consonant formation， 所以看它的排列，哈，所以在强音节中，我们如果找到第一个字，如果它是子音或辅音，举例来说，像 f， 啊，开头的第一个字如果是子音或辅音，我们就称它叫做 onset。所以它的 onset 就是 f， 开头的 f 我们又称叫做子首音。那接下来的这个 a i r， 啊啊，当然我们知道哈 ，a e i o u 是我们的母音，或者我们称元音哈。啊 ，r w y 我们称它叫做什么？半母音啊，或者我们称半元音。啊，有人说它是假性母音哈，或假性元音哈，所以 a i r 啊，记得一件事哈，母音或元音的后面如果加上 r w y，r w y 如果在母音或元音后面，它就是半母音或者是半元音。那 r w y 如果在母音或元音前，那它是不一定啊。不一定会当半母音或半元音啊，通常就可以当子音或辅音啊。那我们可以呢看到这个 r， 它是在 a i 的后面，所以我们就把它当成母音来使用哈。啊，所以 a i r 就是我们的什么 nucleus。所以在 onset 后面啊，首音的后面，如果能找到母音或元音，我们就称它叫做 nucleus。nucleus 就是我们的核音。而这个单字呢？如果后方啊，在核音后面还能找到子音或辅音，我们都称它叫做 onset。那因为找不到，所以我们打叉。onset 就是我们的什么尾音。而我们记得在强音节中的 nucleus 加 code、nucleus 加 onset、核音加尾音，我们又称它叫做 rhymes。rhymes 在这个单字就找得到了，叫 a i r， 就是我们的什么？韵音，哈，韵音，押韵的音，或者也可以称叫做连音，连起来发音。好，我们来看进阶解释啊 ，a f syllable f a i r， 啊，重音，主重音 ，man stress， 
啊，在第二个音节。好，那第一个音节是弱音节，所以我们直接补上弱音 of of of。好，那写上重音啊，这边写上轻母音 weak vowel。而第二个音节因为是强音节哈，强音节越有重音符号嘛，强音节，所以我们就要看它的 vowel and consonant pattern。母音与子音的排列，我们称元音与辅音的排列，所以它的排列组合是 consonant, vowel, vowel, semi r。啊，它的排列组合是 consonant, vowel, vowel。好，最后一个什么 semi r。啊，那我们知道它的 nucleus j a c o d a 的这个地方，啊，它的 rhyme， 啊，它的韵音的地方，连音的地方。我们称它的组合叫做 VVR， 啊，也就是 VVR 的组合 ，vowel vowel and semi r。那这时候出现一个好玩的现象，因为它就变成三连音了哈，三连音啊，三连音就是 three vowels 啊 ，three vowels combination 啊。那记得一件事情哈，我们通常在讲自然发音 phonic。啊，它都是二连音，好或者三音取二音，但是在古英文哈啊，或者我们讲说英式英文或澳洲的英文，它是有所谓的啊 triplesum 哈啊三连音哈三元三母音或三元音的这种念法。但我们在自然音标的组合哈，我们在 three vowels combination 就是我们去找啊古英文的根源词，像 a i r 我们就用三母音哈，我们用三。三母或三元的组合音，所以我们把这三个音串起来。当你串起来的时候，在三连音你会看到一个特别像一个哈啊啊，像一个三哈一二三的三，不过或者是 A B C D 一，不过是朝上哈。当你在三连音的时候，你的第一个找得到的母音或元音，它一定是短母音啊，通常百分之八十以上它是短母音。并且是破音，然后 a 的母音 a 的破音去念母音 e 的短母音，就念 a， 所以就念 fair。好，那找到其中一个标示出来，另外一个就不念了哈。所以我们看看哈 ，a e i o u， 短母音是念 a a e a e， 对不对？有没有发现 a 的短母音是念 a，e 的短母音才是念 a。所以你有没有看到这个 a 出现在 a 的下方，也就是 a 的短母音去念 e 的短母音，那我们称它叫做这种东西叫做 variant。variant 破音的念法 ，variant vowel 破音的念法。好，那我们的公式就叫做 variant vowel adds short vowel e。所以我们的公式叫什么 ？Short vowel a as variant vowel as short vowel e。好，或者我们讲 variant 啊 ，short vowel a as short vowel e。短破母音 a 去发出短母音 e 的念法。好，这样同学就可以理解了哈。OK， 最后一次进阶解释。A F syllable, F A I R, men stress second syllable, first syllable, weak syllable, we vowels, we vowel A, 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 of, of, second syllable, strong syllable, vowel and consonant pattern, consonant vowel, vowel and semi R, new case of killed F. Vowel, vowel, semi r. Three vowels combination. First vowel, a. Short vowel. Short variant. Variant short vowel a. Adds short vowel e. A, a, air, air, fair. And first syllable, the double f. First f silent. Affair, affair, affair. 好，我们来看第二个单词念法。Illegal, 
illegal. Omega illegal, 哈，重音在第二音，我们也一样看它的根源，哈，它的 origin。十九十七世纪初，来自法文的 illegal， illegal， 好、哦、二声哈、哦，二声嘴念哎 ，illegal 哈、哦，好，所以拼法一模一样，只念法有点不一样哈、哦，所以哎还蛮简单的、哦、这个单字哈、哦，所以我们看它的重音 main stress， 好、哦、main stress 主重音在我们的第二个音节，所以第二个音节打圈是我们的 strong syllable。它是我们的强音节哈，强音节的第二个音节。那我们的 weak syllables， 我们的弱音节，弱音节在一、e、以及三，所以找到一、e、以及三，找到找得到的母音或元音，直接在下方写上弱母音或弱元音。记不记得我刚刚讲 i 的通常弱母音是念什么 e， 所以 l 照抄。而后面的 a 的弱母音通常念什么呢？啊，通常念 a， 所以念 go。哎，很容，你看看这一下子，啊，就两个就一样了哈。一个 o， 一个 a， a 加 o 就 o。好，那在强音节这个地方哈，强音节这个地方，我们就要看到 vowel and consonant pattern， 母音与子音的排列，或者元音与辅音的排列哈。所以开头的这个 l。开头的这个 l 是个子子音，或者我们称辅音啊。在强音节开头的子音或辅音，我们称它叫做 onset， 啊，就是 l 首音。而尾随在首音后面，如果能找到母音或元音，它就是我们的 nucleus。所以 nucleus 在一，核音在一，因为它没有尾音哈，找不之后就没有字了哈，所以我们的 coda。啊，我们的 coda 一样是打叉，所以尾音没有。我们的 nucleus 加 coda 等于 rhymes。rhymes 在什么？一。啊，所以我们的押韵的地方在一。好，所以我们讲连起来发音也在一。好，连音、韵音都在一。好，我们来看进阶解释啊。i l syllable。L E syllable, G A L, main stress second syllable, 主重音第二个音节，第一个音节弱音节啊，所以直接在弱母音啊，弱母音弱音 I 下方写 E, L 照抄。那有没有发现第二个音节？我们要看它的排列了哈。强音节第二个重音在第二个音节，所以是强音节。所以我们看它的 vowel and consonant pattern， 它是什么？ Consonant vowel， 那记不记得我们刚刚讲什么？它没有啊 ，coda 嘛，啊，可是它后面还有个 g 嘛，没有 coda， 没有尾音哈，所以我们直接在后面补个 syllable 过来，啊，借位补个 syllable。那它的 nucleus and coda 就是 vowel and syllable， 母音以及音节，好、啊。因为它没有，所以我们补过来。它本来是 consonant， 所以它是什么？它的组合是什么 ？consonant、vowel and syllable。啊 ，consonant、vowel、syllable， 子母啊，子母音节，或者我们讲说辅元音节。所以它套用，它跟 vowel 跟 syllable 组合起来。在自然发音的公式就叫做 vowel before syllable， 它套用公式叫做 vowel before syllable。vowel before syllable 的意思就是母音或元音是这个强音节中唯一的母音或元音，且母音或元音啊落在这个音节的最后一个字母。那母音或元音则发出长母音或长元音，所以我们从这个音节的这个地方画个上升的符号，把这个母音一啊，母音或元音一拉成长母音、长元音，这时候一的长母音就念 e l 照抄。可是你们发现两个 l 照抄时，我们称它叫做 double l、double l， 或者我们称叫做，或者我们叫做称它叫什么 repeat。Y, Repeated consonant. 啊
，重复的子音，重复的辅音，所以其中一个打叉，代表它不发音。我们 illegal i l l e 而第三个音节，弱音节 a 直接补 e，、呃、所以就念 go illegal illegal illegal。好的，我们来做最后一次解释。I L syllable, L E syllable, G A L, main stress second syllable, first syllable weak syllable with vowels with an I S E, ill, ill, L silent, second syllable strong syllable, vowel and consonant pattern, consonant vowel syllable, nucleus coda, vowel and syllable. Vowel before syllable, open syllable, long vowel, long vowel e, li, 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 third syllable, weak syllable, we vowel, we vowel a, uh, uh, o, go, illegal, illegal, illegal. 记得这个像上升的符号，我们又称它叫做 open syllable. 开放音节。好的，我们再提这两个单词，再做一次练习。Aware, aware, aware, illegal, illegal. Illegal. 好的，以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day 每日单词。同学们，如果你觉得 David 老师用这个 phonetic 自然发音的公式，带你进入 phonetic 音标的世界，并且用 phonetic phonetic 自然音标，用线性符号来去表达标示，并且加强你对母音的认知，如。短母音、长母音、轻母音、双母音，啊，或者用线性符号来表达子音的特殊规则，如不发音、二合子音，啊啊，这等等的一些规则，啊，或者一些特例，能帮助到你的拼技巧以及逻辑的话，欢迎大家。如果你有 Google Plus、Google 账号，可以直接加老师 ID David T D I N G A A D A， 啊 ，David T D I N G A D A， 啊，加老师 ID。啊，来做你的好友。And friends, if you like my pronunciation training video and would like to become my friend, if you have the Google Plus account, you can simply just search my D David T D I G A D A, and you can join me with me within the Google Plus friends circle. If you're living in Great China area, and you can just search my Weibo, my fan page in Weibo. And my ID David T D I N G A D A, and you can join me there. Of course, if you would like to write me an email, here's my email account as David T N A D A at hotmail dot com, and my WeChat David T N A D A. And at last, thanks for for your video watching and sharing to my YouTube or my YouTube channel, and I'd be very appreciated. And if you would like to receive the new updates, or the daily updates for my channel, or all my teaching uh, schedule, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to either my channel, my YouTube, or my YouTube, and you will be all set, and you will get the new updates automatically. 同学们，不要忘记了啊！如果喜欢 David 老师的频道啊，我的教学的这个。啊，逻辑也欢迎大家啊，直接加我的 YouTube 或我的 YouTube 啊，或者我的其他的微博或者 WeChat 做好友。以上就今天的 Vocabulary of the Day， 每日单字，谢谢各位同学观赏。